Hello and welcome to Woman Vision TV. I'm your host, Nadia Giordana. I like to do a variety of fun and interesting things on the show. Often that means I'll be interviewing one of the extraordinary women that I've met in my travels. But other times I'll be at an, at an event and I'll share that with you. And thirdly, I'm often in the kitchen showing you one of the healthier recipes that I like to make that won't wreck my healthy eating habits. Right now it's football and homecoming season and parties abound. I want to show you today two things that I like to make and take that I can enjoy and also so will everyone else at the gathering. The first one is my slow cooker party mix and secondly my ever famous sun butter kale chips. So let's finish this in the kitchen. Hi, I'm back in the kitchen. It's football, homecoming, and party season. And when I get invited somewhere, I like to bring something along that everyone can enjoy, including myself, that won't wreck my healthy eating habits. So I've got two things to show you today. The first one is slow cooker party mix. And the second is my famous sun butter kale chips. Now we're going to start with the slow cooker party mix. It's based around the recipe that you've seen all you know over the years that uses the uh, rice and wheat and corn square cereals. I've got five cups of those here. By the way, I will give you a list of the ingredients at the end of this segment. So like I said, five cups of the, the Czech style cereals here. I've got a cup of shredded wheat, banana chips, bagel chips, one of my favorites, plain uh, Melba toasts, pretzels. Those are naturally low in salt most of the time. These are the window pane style. Almonds and some spices, Mrs. Dash, and I've got marjoram and cumin here, but you can change that out if you want. So essentially then, what I do to make this, I use a six quart slow cooker. Most of the cooking is done with the lid off. In here I have three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of olive oil that have been melted together. I'll add the uh, the rice and wheat squares, the shredded wheat, bagel chips, Melba toasts, the Melba toasts can be broken in half, that's what I did here, but if you put them in the hole, they're naturally, over the stirring process, may break a little bit and that's okay, that just makes them bite-sized pieces. Here go the pretzels, almonds, and banana chips. The banana chips add a little bit of sweetness that just offsets some of the other flavors. Now one of the ingredients in this recipe, and I don't, I'm not doing it today because I don't always want the flavor of garlic in here, but you could add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm not doing that today. I'm adding a heaping teaspoon, a generous heaping teaspoon of Mrs. Dash. For me that replaces a lot of the salt and I've got some margarine and cumin like I mentioned. I'll get those mixed together and they're going to heat up. If this slow cooker is on low and it's going to cook like this with the lid off for three to four hours on low stirring about every 30 minutes. Now if you get towards the end and you feel like it needs a little salt, you could, you could add some at that time. So essentially that's what there is to be done right now. I'll be back in uh, about three to four hours. 
Okay, I'm back and it's been uh, nearly four hours. The mix is done and it looks great. One thing I did notice about halfway through when I tasted was that the uh, heaping teaspoon of Mrs. Dash that I used wasn't enough. That's because the mix of ingredients that I used this particular time probably needed a, a little additional flavor boost. So I added two more teaspoons of Mrs. Dash until now I have the flavor that I really wanted. I'm going to get this into a bowl and you can take a look. It looks great. Now the only other thing I might want to add to this, and I would do this right before I, I, I take it somewhere, I would add about a cup of, these are dried cranberries, dried cherries is something else that I, I like to put in there, for a little additional uh, sweetness that kind of offsets the other flavors. But I do that right before I take it somewhere. And that's my slow cooker party mix. I think you'll enjoy it if you try it. It's one of my favorite things that I like to make and take. But now I want to show you my sun butter kale chips. So we'll move on to that clip. Okay, we're ready to go. The reason we're using a large stainless steel bowl is because we'll be adding the kale to this mixture in a moment. First thing we'll put in is the one half cup of sunflower butter. You could use peanut butter or tahini, but I really do like sunflower butter for the flavor and how it works with this. Three tablespoons of cider vinegar. One third cup of water, one tablespoon lemon juice, about a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, a dash of hot sauce. I'm using green chili habanero hot sauce, but you can use any kind. And also, then you will add approximately three tablespoons of light soy sauce. And that's it. We'll whisk this together. This is what the sauce looks like, and I'll provide a list of ingredients at the end of this video. I've washed, dried, and roughly torn up my kale. I'll put it now into the sauce bowl mixture. We're going to be using our hands. Get right in there, get it mixed up. You also want to massage the kale pieces. It tenderizes them a little bit, and later on they'll uh, They'll be much nicer when you chew them. Add the last few pieces. Get them evenly coated. These will now go into a food dehydrator for anywhere from five to six or seven hours. It just depends on your dehydrator and the kale until they're crispy. There you go. Delicious. 